everybody and welcome to another tutorial video. It's been a while since I made one, but in this tutorial video I will be showing you how I built my clock tower that I had built on the Etho Community Season 3 server. So I decided to build a clock tower uh, just for the heck of it and plus I've been planning on building one on the intrinsic server so I thought this would be like great little warm up and test to see how well I could do a clock tower. So this is my outcome and I felt very proud of it so if you want to build this stay in tune for the video because I will be showing you how to build this on my creative world so the materials you'll be needing to build this clock tower are cobblestone stone bricks polished andesite andesite wall cobblestone wall polished andesite stairs and some other blocks that we'll add on later but the base of this thing is seven blocks well all sides are seven blocks with the corner leave the corners open and then once you get that part done and built out then you'll need to go eight blocks up from here one two three four five six seven eight and then the the corners here will be think 10 blocks I am looking at a picture screenshot of this as I'm building it because it's been a couple of days since I built this so one two three so three blocks up from the eight we did earlier and you're gonna want to do this to all sides of course so I'll do this So the next step you'll need to do is place andesite stairs on all corners. Then the next step is to place some andesite walls, two, high, two blocks tall on each of the corner sides. Then you're going to want to add some stone blocks in for the filling for filling in the walls on all four corners or all four sides up to one block below the stair polished andesite stair Then you're going to want to grab some smooth stone slabs and place them at, like in a little arch on all four sides. Once that part's done, you're going to actually put one more layer of stone smooth stone and then you're going to want to put a little side column of cobblestone <clears throat> next you're going to want to pillar up six blocks of stone bricks one two three four five six and just remove that one block of cobblestone Next, add three andesite stone walls on the corners for more extra detail. Next, add some cobblestone going onto the sides like the last layer. And then fill the rest of the wall with stone blocks, smooth stone. Next is to add polished andesite stairs facing upside down. So this would be a great spot if you wanted to hang some banners or lanterns or whatever you want to do. Next, 
uh, get some cobblestone and build up six blocks. One, I see seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on all four sides. Next, build up six blocks with the stone bricks. Once that's done, then grab your smooth stone again and go in one block from the stone bricks. And then fill in all these corners. Then grab some stone brick stairs and add a little, we're gonna add a little hang here just to add some more little detail. And then with these little gaps right here, of course, fill them in with smooth stone. Perfect. Then you're gonna wanna grab your smooth stone slabs. Now you wanna grab some cobblestone stairs and place them on the edge of every cobblestone block for the clock face. Once that's done, then you'll need your smooth stone slabs. And you're gonna put some, th put three blocks up, then two in the middle. And then you're gonna want to grab a and normal andesite block and place that right. No, one more block up. So right here, I think. No, that's not right. I think it's right here. Then next you're going to grab smooth andesite blocks and put them on all the, on top of all the cobblestone fen, or not fences, stairs. Then you're going to want to grab some, yeah, some stone bricks and put them on top, not on here, on top of these, on top of the andesite polished blocks. Whoops. Then you're going to want to put another andesite polished block on the corner, on the corners, and then, yeah, and then you're going to want to grab some stripped spruce logs and place three blocks of, of this on each corner. Ooh, mess up here. And then after that, polished andesite on top of the logs. And then you're going to get your white wool or white clay. I'm going to use the wool though because that's what I built on, use it on the server. Three blocks, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then of course, one, two, three. And that is the perfect shape and size for the clock face. You do want to do that on all corners, of course. And don't forget to place in the rest of the endosite blocks on the corner or in the front under the faces because if you don't, there's just going to be holes right there that you could fall through. And of course, you can uh, fill in these holes here too. What I did was I put polished um, slabs right here. Felt that came out coming out really nice looking. And now for the roof. So before we start on the roof, just to add some detail so we know where to start building the roof, put cobblestone walls on all the corners of the andesite polished on the top and put one on the bottom part. This is just to add that extra little detail. It's it's worth it. It, it looks way better if you add this on. Then you add the spruce fence posts. Once that part's done, then you can see where you can start building the roof. So we put some oak stairs on top of all the fence posts or the walls. 
Perfect, and then what you're going to want to do is add a oak block behind each stair. Then you're going to add another stair in. Then you're going to add another block, two more oak blocks down. And then after that, then another oak stair. And then for now, we'll leave that there. And then next is the roof itself. So we're going to want to put two blocks, oak blocks here, then one up, one higher than that. And then we need to put another one here, going two blocks tall. And then just rinse and repeat that on all the sides. And then once that's part's done, then you go in here, and I think it's three blocks. Yep, three blocks tall from there. One, two, three. Take that block out. And you go over one block, build up three, like so. And fill in this block here and leave this one, close that one up. Because we're going to add a window right here. So then you're going to grab a spruce stair. And put that upside down like so. Perfect. Now add another block here. I could have done that earlier, but I don't know why I didn't. Okay, so right here, this will be where you can put your window. You can use glass, you can use oak fence. I used oak fence, but for this, I'll use just glass blocks. And then you're going to want to put an oak block above here, just like that. You're gonna want to go right, build, put a block in the corner, up two blocks. I think you fill in all the corners like this, so it'll be a square. And then you get your oak stairs and build upside down two blocks on each corner. And you break in the middle block so it's like that. And you get your... Oh wow, we're right above the island I was building. And then you want to build up two blocks from here. We'll just break some of this because I really don't need this anymore. Alright, and then we need some oak fence posts. And a cobblestone wall. So we'll put cobblestone wall here. Oak fence here. And, um, oh, this is not oak, this is jungle. Then we'll put all the oak fence like this. And there's the roof. Except for the little detail part. And then you're, if you want to, if you want to add little hanging lanterns near the clock faces, get some spruce oak logs. Or no, spruce oak logs. Spruce logs. Two blocks out like that. You don't have to have the third block in there. I'm just doing that because it's just easier to do right now in creative mode. And then you get a. I use dark oak in the on the one I built on the server, but I'm just using spruce here. And then I'll get some. Sp and you get a button, and you can put a button on the end of the log, so it makes it look better. I'm gonna use a dark oak because I use the dark oak. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Put some buttons on the edge here. Whoa, where did that one go? That's right there. And you get some lanterns. You hang the lanterns under the logs. And then for this little gap right here, I used... Yeah, I used stone bricks. 
and then right here actually take this block these take these oak blocks out and put some under some stairs going upside down Perfect. Oh, perfect. So that part's all done. And then, if you want to learn how to make the uh, clock work, uh, I followed a mumbo jumbo tutorial that he posted, uh, f I think, a year or two ago. But it's not that old. But if you want to add the, uh, if you want the clock to actually like work. Uh, check out his video. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can follow along and see how to build it. And if you want to add in just that little bit of extra detail on the walls, because the walls are very flat, flat and plain, just add some cobblestone here and there and random little spots. It'll just put some more texture in there. But, but yeah, besides that, that is how you build my clock tower that I built on the Etho community server so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and be sure to stay in tune for my next tutorial that i'll be planning to do so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you thought it was helpful and i'll see you in the next one everybody take care bye bye